Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some clothespin DIYs for you guys. And for this first DIY, you need 100 clothespins, and I got them from Walmart. And I'm going to use some Dollar Tree super glue with glue. And then I just took the clothespins apart, 96 of them, and left the other four for later. And I'm just gluing the flat sides together. And then I'm gluing 12 of the clothespins together like this and I'm using a square ruler to make sure that they are all straight. And then I did this 8 times, so 8 sets of 12. And once those were dry, I glued together two sets on this skinny end together and I did this four times just wipe away any excess glue it's hard to get in those wee bits though and then with the last four clothes pegs pins <laughs> uh, I glued them on like this with the flat side facing out if you wanted to use more close pins, you could do that at the top as well, but I didn't want to use any more than the 100. So I did, made four of these, and then I glued together 24 tower blocks and three rows of eight. If you have like a scrap piece of wood or something, you could use that instead. So no, tower blocks are hard to get, unless you buy them off the website. This is all my PCs, including four of the half beads I'm going to use for feet. And I stain it all with the Minwax wood stain in Early American. And this is how they turned out. And I'm just going to glue all the sides together. But this tower block part on the bottom will only touch three sides. But that's okay, because I'll show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> So you just stick two sides, and I'm using some uh, bottles to prop them up and make sure they dry in place. And then just glue the other sides on like this. Making sure they're all straight. And then I glued the last side on. Same. While that was drying, I decided to get four of these cubes from Dollar Tree and uh, hot glue them in the corners at the bottom just to make it more stable. You can uh, <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Stain them ones if you want to before, but you're not going to see them anyway. And then, once it was dry, I turned it over and I glued on the wee half beads. I did end up putting them in the very corners. And this is how it turned out. And I'm using this on the planner. Um, I think it turned out so pretty. I put the half beads. And I'm going to use the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue again. And then I'm going to take about six clothes pins. And I'm going to glue them together like this. Just lay them flat and then glue them all facing the same direction in pairs. And you will end up with six pairs and then just leave them to dry completely. Now you're going to join them together to make two triangles and then again make sure they're all facing in the same direction and just glue the corners together. And 
I had to obviously turn my intro on there. <laughs> yeah, so just make sure they're all facing the same direction when you glue them in pairs and then when you glue them in a triangle. And now I'm going to take apart 16 of the clothes pins. I keep going to say pegs because we call them pegs in Scotland. So I'll just take them all apart and I will think of something to do with all the metal pieces that I've taken off because now I have about 600 of them. <laughs> I'll have to make a whole video of that. So now we're making some wee triangles and just glue them all. And I have these wee tiny beads that I've got from the packets of beads that I've been buying from Amazon and I'll link them down below and I'll link the half beads and I also I have this this plastic string is from one of the packs of beads that I got and I thought it would be alright but it wasn't <laughs> but anyway I strung all the beads onto that and these are all my pieces and I'm gonna stain them with the Minwax Early American Wood Stain So now I'm just gonna glue them together to make stars and I'm using the wood glue again I do this for the big triangles and for all the wee triangles so you're gonna end up with six stars So the string that I used, I did make this DIY, but then it was, the knots were coming undone and it was not very strong. So I decided to get some stronger like fishing wire, clear string from Amazon and I'll link it down below the one that I got. And that worked out great and I'm going to show you in the next clips me using it. I wish I'd got it in the first place so that I didn't have to restring all the beads. <laughs> I wasn't sure how many beads I was going to need so I just strung them all and dyed them all. So I'm going to use the super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree for this part and this is the string that I got. It's like fishing wire. I'm just going to restring the beads because that other one was no good. <laughs> so each of your stars you're going to make a different length. So you're going to make the next one longer than the last one. So I'm going to show you me making the shortest one. So I string the beads up and make sure I have plenty of string to work with. And I tied it in two knots and then I put some super glue on the knots and then I tied another knot and then put some more super glue. And it's held it. <laughs> so just make sure I tie it tight. And then I cut off oh <laughs> I cut off plenty so that I can tie it around the big star. And I just do three knots again, I just do the same thing again. And I do that all the way around the star, making sure each star is longer than the first, the one before it. But I do most of that off camera. Just make sure you pull it tight and you glue it. And then just trim off the extra string. So this is me doing one of, I think it was the last one actually. So I just did the same thing. I tied it in a three knots and put some super glue on it and then did the same thing to the star. And you can add, always add on extra beads if you need to make it longer. Or you can take beads off if it's too long. 
You could make all the stars, lay them out and make them a different lengths first if you want to, but I like to hold it up and look at it and see how the stars are, how they look. I'm doing it now. <laughs> That's what I like to do and see how they're hanging while I'm making it. So just trim off any of the extra string and now I'm just going to make the hanger for the top and I was going to tie it to this part and then change my mind and I did it to the middle part here and I just did the same thing tying it in a couple of knots, putting the glue on and tying another knot and then once I decided how long I wanted my string because I made that big long string of beads, uh, string of beads. <laughs> I just cut off what I wanted and then made the next one the same length and I did this three times and I made sure when I cut it at the other end I left a lot of string because I'm going to tie it all together at the top. So while it was waiting to be tied up, I just tied a wee knot in it, but I did take that out before I tie them all together. And however long you want to make your stars, or make the top hanger is up to you. I have no idea how many beads I used. I just strung up those two packets and I have a lot left. So I will have to find something else to make with them. I was trying to tie the string at the very top of the beads but I just couldn't get it close enough so I had to untie it and this string is really thin and fiddly <laughs> so uh, I don't know don't do, don't do that part just wait until you tie them all together at the end So now I'm just holding the three pieces up and I'm making sure the star is as straight and flat as I can get it. And then I tie the three pieces together. I think I tied it, I tied it two or three times. I put some of the super glue on it and then I trimmed off the extra pieces of string. And then I decided to put a bigger bead on the very top to finish it off. But I had to use the needle nose pliers to get the knot through the hole. And then this is how it turned out and the beads are so pretty. You can always make it a different colour or add some green and stuff to it. Just whatever, make it your own. I love, I love this early working and stuff just like For this DIY, you need 112 clothes pins and some wood glue. And I'm taking apart seven clothes pins 
and then I'm going to glue the flat sides together. So this DIY is a bit like the first one, except I'm going to make it colour and skinnier instead of wide, short and wide. So sometimes the clothespins don't want to stick together because they kind of have like a bend in them. So I just use the clamps from Dollar Tree to hold them together until this glue dries. I glued them in rows of seven and now I'm just going to glue four of them together. Two of them with the pointy sides facing and then in the middle the other sides facing. And now I'm just going to glue on some of the wee half beads because I just love them. <laughs> And I'll link them down below. So I'm just putting the smallest ones on the these rounder parts of the clothespins. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, or you could even put more on if you wanted to. I just love them and love how they finish off your projects and just give it a wee bit something extra. I made four of these panels and now I'm just gonna glue together some craft sticks. I want to make it the same width as my panels. So I'm just gonna mark it off with a rule and a sharpie and then I just cut them down with some scissors. I tried to make all these square blue tower blocks but it just wouldn't fit properly so I'm doing this instead so just putting them all side by side and then I'm just gluing the extra pieces that I cut off on top to glue it all together I'm just using hot glue for that I ended up using another craft stick. I thought I better just fill in all the <laughs> all the spaces. So I don't know why I decided to put it together before I stained it, but don't hot glue stuff together and then stain it because it doesn't stay together. But I'm hot gluing the little wooden squares from Dollar Tree in the bottom corners and then I do it again halfway up so I use eight of them but uh, yeah it was also harder to stain because it was quite tall and skinny <laughs> but uh, I was late at night and I was tired and I wasn't thinking properly so definitely stain the pieces first before you put it together So then I turn it upside down and I just use some wood glue to glue on some wee half beads for feet and then I stain it all with the early American wood stain and this is how it turned out. I just put one of the wee puck lights that I got from Amazon in it and I'll link them down below as well and I think it turned out so pretty. This is how it looks with the lights on so you can see it properly. And then this is what it's like with the lights off and it's kind of hard to get a good video but 
It does look pretty in real life. You could also make this a flower planter if you wanted to. I'm using the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue again. And I'm going to take apart eight clothes pins. And I'm just going to show you me making one of these squares. So I glue the flat pieces together like I did for the other DIYs. And then I have to use the clips sometimes to hold them together. And just wipe off any glue that oozes out as well. So now I was trying to figure out how I was going to put them together. <laughs> So I decided to do it like this and then I'm going to glue it together like that. Here I put plenty of glue on and I didn't bother as much that if I didn't wipe it off because I really wanted it to stick together. And then once it was done you can't notice it anyway. So just leave that to set. And then I glued on some half beads in two different sizes just to make it stronger and I glue them on the front. I glue bigger ones in the corners and then smaller ones in the middle. And then I turned it over and I did the same thing on the other side. This is optional as well, you could wrap some twine around those parts if you wanted to. That would make it stronger. So I made another two squares but I didn't put one side on so that I can join them together. So I put the whole square that I made inside that square and then I just glued on the other side and then I glued on the beads as well. I just held it together until it's set, or I thought it's set. <laughs> it was a bit fiddly, and you could probably use super glue or something, and it would be, it would set much faster. So then, just put the other beads on the other side, and then leave it to dry. And then I did the same thing on the other side with the other square. And then I stained it with the Early American Wood Stain. And now I have a piece of twine and I just doubled it up. I'm just going to hot glue the ends so that I can put it through some beads. You could add more beads if you want. I just wanted to add a few just to show you guys. And then this DIY turned out nice but it was a bit fiddly. I just tied the to one corner of the squares and I hot glued it and I trimmed off the excess and however long you make that is up to you and I just burnt off all the hairs. I got these big long hanging succulents from Walmart so I'm just cutting off pieces so that I can hot glue it to the middle of the squares and have them hanging down and 
this was kind of difficult because I was trying to show you guys for the video but if you can hang it up and then glue the succulents on then obviously it's a lot easier so I just show you me doing a few pieces and then I do the rest off camera after I've hung it up so just use some scissors cut them the length that you want them to be and then just hot glue them on but I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera and then come back and show you and this is how it turned out and it turned out really pretty you don't have to use succulents you could use some flowers and they have like nice hanging ones at Dollar Tree and stuff but anyway let me know which of these DIYs is your favourite Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!